Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio here with James Jacob Prash. Uh, Jacob, one of the believers, had a question based on 1 Corinthians 15.50. If flesh and blood cannot inherit heaven, how can we say that Jesus ascended into heaven in a physically resurrected body? Because that body was translated. As we've explained before in our exposition of the <coughs> transfiguration narrative, he was transfigured. He went up there physically and literally, appearing with Moses and Elijah. Elijah, a man who also never died, who was physically resurrected and raptured, taken to heaven, and Moses, who died naturally. We shall be as he is. There is a translation, a translation into spiritual bodies. But the translation into a spiritual body does not negate the literal fact of an anatomical physically tangible material resurrection of an actual corpse, an actual body. Elijah was taken up to heaven, translated. Jesus was taken up to heaven, translated, but he was literally physical. The physical was translated. As Paul says, we shall be changed. We shall be changed. But the fact that we're going to be changed into something spiritual does not negate the fact that what is changed is actually physical. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings of Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't for the sake of brevity uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print, the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, the Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morial catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.